was the last one of the last year and the first one of <laughs> Technically, it was a gig that lasted two years. It is true, yeah. No, it's just uh, mental when you think. I never actually thought about it like that. It's no wonder why I'm knackered. <laughs> No, it's, it's more to do with the fact that I drove from uh, Darlington today. Any idea what Darlington is? In Geordie Land? Well, it's not really Geordie Land, it's Seaside, so you've got to be careful, because uh, if you call Geordies people who are not Geordies, they get really... Yeah, well, that's further up. Just a touch. But uh, everybody calls me the Geordie French now. Because I lived in Darlow for, for 10 years. It was coming up to... It's going to be 11 in July. Um, and uh, I've developed some kind of accent. <laughs> Which I didn't, do, I, did, I didn't do it on purpose. The idea of me moving to England originally was to improve on my English. <laughs> it was a good idea, but I didn't know what was going to happen if I stayed. And I did. And after 10 years in the North East, you can hear what's happened later. <laughs> so there you go, job's knackered. Because my English actually was much better when I lived in France. <laughs> Which is really weird, because you would have thought living in England would have helped. But it has, in some respects, but it's made it worse in others. <laughs> oh yeah, my grammar is not what it used to be. But uh, when I moved to the North East, which is self-inflicted, I know, don't ask. I was born in the south of France, for God's sake, never mind. Um, when I moved to the North East, I was taught the Queen's English in school in France. And I moved to the North East of England and realised nobody spoke it there. <laughs> but then I started travelling around and nobody speaks it anywhere. So I had to adapt very quickly. And it's hard work, you know. But the accent in the North East. That was something else. Or as we say, summit else. <laughs> summit, I know. Just all these words I never I didn't have a clue about. Like. And the fact that it all finished the sentences with like as well. Which is something I just didn't have a clue about. Because um, when I uh, when I learned uh, English in school, like was either a verb. I like tea. I like chocolate. As you say in school, the do word. Because kids haven't got a clue what a verb is, so I've got to say the do word. Anyway, <clears throat> or it was a word you used to compare things to people. You know, she looks like a mom. He looks like his dad. I actually never knew that I could finish a sentence until I moved to the northeast. You know what I mean, like? Like what? I always used to ask. Never got any answer, so I just stopped asking. You know what I mean? Like, and you just do it like the locals do to survive. And then I'm going to do a song by a very good friend of mine called Keith Donnelly, and the song is called. Dark horses dancing. Sons of love and other far off things. Dark horses dancing.
tell me why Songs of love And other far of things Dark horses dancing in rain And when I'm gone I Yeah. <laughs>